The farm families that own Cabot are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here at the Winooski Falls in Winooski, Vermont, for a nature walk with classical pianist Anamika Spolstra. I am Anamika Spolstra and I uh, play piano. Seven's when I started to take lessons. I just love the sounds. You could go low and high and loud and soft. <laughs> you could do anything. I just love the feeling of doing things with my hands. When I was about 13, 14, it was not so cool to play classical. Then I came in these buildings where there was like music everywhere. And then I knew immediately, okay, that's all I want. I remember one lesson that I had to do Rachmaninoff etudes and suddenly I started crying in the middle of the lesson and my teacher was like sort of helpless. Like, <laughs> what's going off that girl? I was like 19 or so. I just loved this melody and it was like, it was such a pretty melody and I was just like, where? <laughs> so that happens, yeah. I'm not one of those pianists who is like in an ironed skirt, like on stage and playing the same program over and over. I like to have like the freedom to do every half year or more like a new program and that I can be creative. Tonight's program at St. Mike's will include Anamika's love of nature and some of the photographs that she takes while on her many excursions. from the Netherlands, so I studied in Zwolle and then did art song accompaniment in Amsterdam and I came to Vermont because I fell in love with an American and it didn't work out, but I decided to stay here. I just love Vermont. I think the moment I drove in here it was like, okay, I, I, I like it here, so it's yeah, special. And then my parents came, they saw that I was happy here in the mountains and in the nature and I miss Holland sometimes and especially food things or like comical jokes, <laughs> like the language is sometimes a pain here, but, but I love being outside, so that's part why I'm staying here. But of course now it's my boyfriend too, <laughs> Jemaya, he's amazing. But I do like to kind of go to my little cave and just work and then step out and then go back to it. And when you practice your on your own a lot, you just sit inside on your bench and try to create stories or something. When I play sometimes I think about what I saw outside and then when I want to have something sound like bouncy, then I think about a waterfall or like sparkling things. When are you gonna use your photographs <laughs> in your music or you know share them and Today I did bring some photographs that people can look at. I thought about projecting them big while I was playing, but then I thought, no, I like everyone to have their own images when they listen to music. And the program is all based on nature. And the least what I'm gonna play, it's a longer piece composed in Switzerland. And it's about a young guy who is trying to go into nature and seek for the meaning of life. So it's very teenagery. <laughs> The Wanderer Fantasie by Schubert, that he composed when he was quite young. So it goes like from one piece to another and you know, you get your backpack, you go outside and you see this and you see that. And then I do the Brahms intimacy afterwards, which don't have really a nature link. But when I play it, I think about butterflies or I think about a breeze. internationally renowned, you travel all over the world. Tell me about what that's like. I like that every day is different. Financially it's always tricky because you have like five part-time jobs at the same time, so you, you travel a lot. The best performances are when you're really in your zone and you don't really think about who is there. Yeah, I could say I'm spiritual, so I believe that I could never do it alone. <laughs> like to play till I kind of drop. <laughs> I have one student who uh, I really admire, she's now 93 and still plays every day. She said also like, you know, it's more fun than doing puzzles and it's good for your brain, so <laughs> I believe her, <laughs> yeah. Thank 
Jamaica is a perfect combination of nature and music. We'll get stuck mark again real soon. There was this piece by Goliath and there were some pedal markings not clear and then um, Peter Serkin told me, he said, you know, why don't you call him up? And I was like, never thought of that because, <laughs> you know, Schubert is like way dead. <laughs> and I never thought of calling a composer, so I learned a lot there. We're here at beautiful Liberty Hill Farm with Beth Kenneth and Kenneth. How long have the Kenneths run the farm here? We've owned the farm for 31 years, since 1979. We chose to move here to Vermont. Um, we love the, the sense of community that we have here, knowing that we're part of something that really has value and meaning. And you're all Cabot farmers. We are, absolutely. <laughs> you really believe it is the best in the world. We do, because we won every major award for taste in the world. You make the world's best cheddar, you ought to be proud of it.